Okay, welcome to the seventh lecture in my How to Tell the Time series. And don't forget to press subscribe at the bottom here to join us on all these lectures. Right, let's begin. Now we've learned how to tell by counting in fives this way around from 12. We've learned that that is always past 12. But sometimes you will find a time that is something like this. Your minute hand will be there. And if we did it the old way, that would have been 50 minutes past 12. We would have gone this way around counting in fives until we got to 50 over there. Okay, and that would have been 50 minutes past, not 12, sorry, 1. It's pointing at the 1 here. So 50 minutes past 1. But now there's a, another way of putting it. You can either count this way from 12 or you can count this way from 12. Today's lecture is about counting this way from 12. So we're going to say, fine, this is 5, 10. 10 minutes to the next hour where it's busy going to. It is pointed at the 1 now, but it's on its way to 2. So the way we do it when we go in the counterclockwise direction for telling time is we say, to the next hour, it's on the way to the next hour. So this is actually going to be 5, 10, 10 minutes. So it's not past 1, it's on its way to 2. 2, 2. Okay. I know it's still pointing at the 1. But it's going to be 2 o'clock soon. It's just got these 2, 10 minutes still to go before it's on 12. And then it ends up at 2. Okay, so this is a little bit more advanced. If you're confused, rather don't do this lecture. Rather remember how to do it in the previous lecture where you go on the way past 12. Let's look at another one. Let's put our minute hand in. Let's put it maybe there. Okay, so we're going to do it to the left of the 12. 5, 10... 15. 15 minutes to, and it's already pointing at the 6, so we're going to use 7 to say this. 15 minutes to 7. Okay. When we count this way around, we use the next hour in our terminology. Right, let's do another one. Let us say... It's on the 7 over here. And we're going to count to the left of the 12. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 minutes. 2. Now it's already on 10, so we're going to say 11. It's on its way to 11. Okay. See, it's pointing at the 10. But we're going to use 11 because we're busy with 2. 25 minutes to go before it's 11 o'clock. Right. Let's do one last one. Let's make it on the 7 here. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 25 minutes to... And it's already on the 3, so we're going to say it's going to be on the 4 by the time it gets to 12. Because this hand here still has to move all the way up to 12. When it gets to 12, this one would have moved to 4. That's why it says 25 minutes to 4. Got it. Right. If this confuses you, rather become comfortable with telling the time from 12 past instead of 12 to. This is the past direction. So... Rather use that direction until you're comfortable with it. And then you can start coming back to this lecture to review this one. And don't forget to press here, subscribe. And I have more than 100 maths videos loaded on my channel. Many, many added every day. Subscribe and you will be able to keep you with us on this journey. 